welcome to a new studio vlog. The footage that you just saw was from a few days ago. I glazed some oils on a monarch butterfly painting that you saw me start a few vlogs back. And in this vlog, I'm hoping to finish this painting. So I'll give you a look at what I've done so far. All right, here's what it looks like so far. I am about uh, maybe two thirds of the way done or a little over halfway done. So it's amazing what glazing oils can do on top of your painting, on top of your acrylic painting. Like as you can see here, this blue, this pink, this pink, the orange, like it just looks so much better with the glaze layer that I added. And yeah, I'll also share a few other things that I have done since the last vlog that I worked on this. I refined these white leaf and flower doodles with more acrylic paint. Of course, I also worked more on the butterfly and up here. I try to do another layer to cover up my mistake here that I still need to fix more with oil. And I also added some sparkly watercolor paint, which was an experiment. I wasn't sure if this would work out, but it did and I love it. I added some there and some like right here and up here so a few areas i didn't want to do it too much because you know i don't want to like go overboard <laughs> but what i did was i used this regular gel glass medium from golden so i mixed some of this into uh, my sparkly watercolor paint and i added that on top of areas so yeah but when I do add oils to my painting, I want to be sure to not paint with the oils on top, at least opaque paint, because I don't want to cover up, you know, the, the sparkles. So I just need to be intentional about that. And yeah, what do you think so far? I'm really liking seeing this come to life. Oh, I also added more on this caterpillar in the black areas I ended up adding some more blue and then I added a bit more um, blue and, and this is just acrylic so far I haven't added oils on the caterpillar yet so yeah let's work more on this painting your way is what I'm calling this piece. This year, the migratory monarch butterfly was officially announced as endangered due to habitat destruction and climate change. This piece is to commemorate the special butterfly and anyone who is trying to overcome their struggles. We must endure today's hardships, persevere through our trials, hold on to hope, and remember that it won't always be this way. There isn't darkness without light, and light will come your way. You just have to keep going. This piece stretched my skills in so many ways, as I used nine mediums total, which is the most I've ever used in a painting. Spray paint, collage, high flow acrylics, heavy body acrylics, marker, graphite, watercolor, oils, and oil pastels. I collage pieces of an old piece of paper written in French, what I think was a letter to someone. 
I enjoyed the process of layering the multiple mediums and using transparent paint so that the layers beneath can still show their unique traits and add depth to the piece. I like to think that the layers of this painting resemble the complex layers of our souls. Our joys and sorrows, our dreams and ambitions, our experiences, our struggles that we work to overcome. with that painting very proud of it I feel like my art is starting to evolve more into who I am and I took my pegboard down I just want like a change I want to change my art studio I want to change it up so I don't really know what I'm gonna do with the other pegboard with the lights these lights here don't work anymore unfortunately Jimmy even like looked at them and tried to see if he could fix them, but I guess this is what you get for buying cheap Target lights. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to take these down. Maybe I can find some other cool lights to put in here in my art studio and just figure things out. And right now it's a total mess all around me, <laughs> so I need to clean my art studio. But anyways, I might vlog that in the next vlog with you guys and also I am really excited to share something and it's this. I am going to be opening up my art shop so when you're watching this vlog my shop is open. It will have original artworks like this one here, these two, and what else? <laughs> I can't find the other thing that's in my shop. My owl and lunar moss drawing will be in there. And probably some like watercolor original pieces too. So if you would like to check out all of the art that's in there and see what would look nice in your space, then you can click the link in the description of this video that will take you to my shop. And I might also have stickers available too, but we'll see. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this vlog and enjoyed seeing me create this piece here as much as I created it. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I appreciate you. Bye!